And this is the first close, right? First close over the 50-day moving average uh, on Apple. Now, if we confirm tomorrow and it starts confirming and building off the 50-day moving average, again. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a good day. hope everybody is uh, alive and healthy and uh, and happy and you know had a good day in the market. So uh, let's talk about the tape. So last night, um, I, I didn't expect a lot of movement today. Okay. I, I, I thought the overall market kind of going into today could have been on rest mode. Right. And if you look at, you know, the Dow Jones industrial average uh, via the diamonds, you know, nothing. Right. Flat day there. Uh, if you look at the SPY flat day there up a little bit here and the Q's uh, up a little bit as well. So the indexes are really not going to show um, how strong technology really is right now. And if you've been watching this broadcast now for the last three, four days, we know about these levels, right? We know that we've been, uh, we reclaimed the 50 day, we reclaimed the 324 level, and we keep on building and building and building and building. And the most important part of a structured market that keeps on building, even if it has a quiet uh, day on the indexes, right? On the scoreboard, it lets the other names that have been underneath supply kind of play catch up. And you really don't need to look at the scoreboard to kind of see how strong the market is. So I really didn't have a lot of uh, expectations going into uh, today's trading day. So if you guys remember last night, I was thinking, well, you know what, maybe if we have another quiet day, Maybe these, you know, maybe these Chinese stocks can 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 wake up and you know and wake up. We'll see. You know, we'll see if they can have a day two. Nothing happened, right? Absolutely nothing happened. They opened lower. They never came close. You know, I was looking at Baba for today. Never came close to confirming. I was looking at uh, Baidu today. Uh, never came close to confirming. So I said to myself, well, you know, we could have a very, you know, we could have a very slow day. I think uh, just because the strength of the market, uh, especially in the queues. We could have one more res day. So, you know, again, let's have very little expectations, but always keep your eyes open. And boy, was I wrong. Uh, you know, we rested yesterday. A lot of names did rest yesterday. Today, they were absolutely uh, back, uh, back full steam ahead. Um, just just all just really, really huge moves. Uh, NVIDIA broke out a couple of days ago. Uh, just went absolutely nuts. This was a great, great pivot. Amazon, congratulations for all you guys. Uh, who caught this three-day move. Again, everybody knows how big this uh, reclaiming 50-day moving average, kind of a mirror imaging of the Qs were. This is a 100-point move in three days, huge move on Amazon as well. And now we're getting into an area, and we'll again, we'll get to the pivots in a second, that the mother of all happy-go-lucky, feel-good stocks is on deck. And this is the first close on Apple. You guys remember Apple started going in small intermediate stages, right? Reclaimed this 24 and a quarter area, reclaimed this 27, 22 area. And this is the first close, right? First close over the 50 day moving average uh, on Apple. Now, if we confirm tomorrow and it starts confirming and building off the 50 day moving average, again, just to give you an idea why the 50 day is so important to confirm, Look what the Qs did when they confirmed the 50-day. Look what Amazon did when it confirmed, right, the 50-day. Look what NVIDIA did when it confirmed the 50-day. And da 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 Drum roll, please. Apple is on deck. Uh, buyers came in for the 2930 uh, short-term expiration. Again, first close over the 50-day moving average. Uh, in a very, very long time. And if, if you believe, again, if you believe in technical analysis and you believe that 50-day moving average kind of was a big deal, right, for some of those other names, then you'll see that Apple is ready to go. A name like Qualcomm, right, is right underneath supply, is ready to go. So you're not going to get everything, but the names that are attacking those levels, and again, we talked, we highlighted Square yesterday, right? Remember Square yesterday, first close over the 50-day moving average? So the movie's the same. The ending's the same. Like, like I've been, you know, I've been saying uh, for years and years and years. If you watch Scarface, right? Tony doesn't retire in Bermuda, 
right? He's not an Atlantis in the Bahamas. He dies, right? He dies. So, you know, if you believe in technical analysis, the, the same thing should happen over and over and over again. You test supply, you reclaim supply, you confirm supply, right? And usually good things are going to happen. So we have a lot of good value on deck for tomorrow. And if you look at all uh, the other uh, indexes, right? Again, IWM is not mirroring the NASDAQ 100, but this doesn't really matter. IWM had its huge, huge run for months and months and months while the NASDAQ 100 was underwater, right? Had a slow, steady grind, but did absolutely nothing for months and months and months. So you could see a tremendous rotation, right? Three, four days now, uh, back into technology, uh, semiconductors are back in bloom. They look incredibly good. There's some announcement uh, with Biden doing something, blah, 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 blah. It's going to benefit chip stocks. We'll see, right? We'll see. NVIDIA still looks great for tomorrow. Qualcomm, I really like for tomorrow. Uh, Apple looks phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal uh, if it confirms tomorrow. So we're set up, right? We're set up. Again, you don't need to, when you break certain levels and you need to, um, you, you need to just find ideas that are supporting that move in that directional bias. Don't try to get cute, right? Don't try to outsmart the market every single time there's a downtick. Because again, there's, there's a very uh, firm rule. When stocks are above supply, right? When they're above supply, you buy them. When they're below supply, you sell them. And, and that's exactly what we're doing. Um, you know, can we still get that move into that 337 level on the queues? Yeah, absolutely. Tomorrow we're going into Thursday. Then you have uh, Speculation Friday. That's when everybody... Uh, has these lottery tickets for all these uh, names uh, that have been very, very strong. And, you know, right now, again, the market is very, very healthy. Technology names are pouring in. Uh, names like Microsoft continue to look uh, very, very good. And the moral of the story is continue with the theme. The one name that's a little bit bothering me uh, is Tesla. And when I say bother me, it's not really bothering me, but, you know, I looked at it a couple of days ago and I said, well, look, you know, this, it's building, you know, it's building a base here over the 100 day moving average. And I said, well, OK, that's bullish. And today they came out with some, you know, they came out some news intraday and they said that, you know, maybe there's me delays uh, in blah, blah, blah. I, uh, who the hell knows what these what these headlines are? There's so many of them. You can't even keep track. But the one thing that we have to watch out for, not that I'm going to be concentrating on Tesla to the downside tomorrow. But, it, you know, it lost its five-day moving average today and kind of crawled its way back. So if it starts losing this area and there is some weakness in the market tomorrow, maybe this is a name uh, we could concentrate to the downside to see what happens there. But it, it, before we start talking about Tesla to the downside, which I'm really, you know, it's kind of in the back corner. I, I would still rather uh, look at semiconductor names like a Qualcomm, like an Apple's uh, of the world, uh, even a name like Xilinx, right? Not even a lot of people looking at Xilinx, but look at Xilinx's chart. If it starts confirming... Uh, and this is now three days in a row uh, over the 50-day moving average. If it starts confirming this channel, maybe this thing wakes up as well. So you still have to be uh, very, very picky. You still have to be uh, very, very conscious that not everything is a buy. Just because the market is very strong and technology uh, names are, are working, but you still have to look at names that confirm supply and have room to run. Remember the whole uh, Barry Sanders effect. So let's talk about today's session. Um, it was good. There was some value pivots, obviously some big continuation from yesterday. I did get caught on one trade. If you guys remember, in the middle of the day, um, there was a PR with Facebook and Zoom, right? So I get long Zoom. It goes up like a dollar and change. Da -da -da -da. There was a big seller. I wound up losing three bucks. Um, can't understand what happened. The PR seemed pretty good. The levels were pretty good. Sometimes you just have to say, well, you know, there was a seller in the crowd and I did get caught. Other than that, you know, what can you do? You know, uh, what can you do? Not every single trade uh, is going to be a day at the beach. So let's talk about everything else. Um, Roku, right? Been a, had a big mover yesterday. Uh, we talked about today a follow through on Roku today. Uh, 363, 364 needs to bid to put in a more upside. Not a huge move, but Roku still looks really, really good. So it took out the 63 level from yesterday, uh, traded up to almost 68. I still think there's one more channel here. If it could confirm one more channel, you could get a push into the 680s. There were some 680, uh, 385, uh, 390 calls. Uh, on Roku, so strong move there. Good job for all you guys uh, who did catch it. Uh, Amazon is just an absolute monster. Again, yesterday, uh, two days ago, excuse me, 
that 3182, 3185 pivot that started it all. Uh, today was just, just confirmation of another monster move. 3250 uh, needs to build. Here was Amazon, right? It took out that 3250. This whole channel here uh, took out 3250, went all the way up to 3300. Uh, and change again. Congratulations for all you guys who caught that last uh, runner. Uh, Square upgraded uh, Barclays with a $330 price target. Uh, $239 needs to build. Square went absolutely nuts. Here was Square, right? So here's the whole channel here, the 60 minute channel, uh, this 239 level, and Square went all the way up to 250. Just a huge, huge run. Again, technology is hot. Uh, these brokers are now, you know, they're in love with them again. They're they're upgrading them again. Uh, and right now there's a love fest. So again, we'll see how long it lasts. But for now, uh, there's definitely a love fest in the air. Um, I was watching Tesla never got up to that 697, 98 level. Uh, beyond that, caught for a couple of points. Uh, 137 needs to build. If it confirms the pre-market highs, it should spike. So here is beyond uh, off that headline in China, which again, I, I don't even know why they sold it off, but it took out that 37, right? Took out the 37 and traded about to 141. You know, not a bad move. And then I was, I was very, very surprised they kind of sold off the headline for the rest of the day. But again, not every trade could be a monster. Um, Chipotle, congrats. Again, this is way too thin for me. Uh, for all you guys who did take, congratulations. Uh, I'm just passing it along. 1512, 1513 needs to build. Here was Chipotle. Huge move on Chipotle, right? So it took out the whole 1512, 1513, uh, went all the way up to 1547. Again, they love them, right? They love them. Uh, Blink, uh, never confirmed. Square, uh, take on the way up. Big moves on Square. Uh, Microsoft, you know, nice little pop on Microsoft. Uh, 250 needs to build. Here was Microsoft. You know, put up a dollar, not a, not a big move, but, but keep this in mind. The pivot on Microsoft, and this is what we always talk about all the time. There's a difference between a channel, right? A channel confirming or continuation confirming, right? The big move was a couple of days ago uh, off this 243 pivot. This is just, you know, this is just uh, continuation. So there's a pop another dollar uh, off that 250. I still like it. If it starts confirming today's channel, has a lot of room up. Uh, we saw May uh, 265 calls coming in, uh, pretty decent size on, on Microsoft. So again, I still think it goes higher as well. Uh, Roku take on the way up. And this is the one that's set up for tomorrow. Uh, 127.30 needs to build on uh, Apple. Uh, macro confirmation, it is trading into the 128s now. Um, here's Apple, right? Confirmed this whole channel here, closed above the 50-day moving average. And right now, I don't know what this hell this crazy wick is, but right now uh, it's trading into the 128s. And again, some pretty good, uh, pretty good coal buyers coming in. They came for the 129s, for the 130s, and you can see how much room this thing has if this market continues uh, to shine. Uh, so, my, you know, it's, Apple's definitely set up for tomorrow. Uh, Amazon new highs. Microsoft taking the way up. Uh, yeah, congratulations to you guys. Huge, huge three-day move on Amazon. Little pop here on seal, uh, five ninety six dollars needs to build again. Not a huge move, but again, I don't know. Are these small caps, you know, twenty cents a big move? Who the hell knows, right? So here was five ninety and traded all the way up to, I mean, all the way up to, but six sixteen. So that's that there as well, thirty three hundred there. So yeah, look, look, we're set up for tomorrow. Uh, again, you know, we have to be, you know, we have to be conscious, obviously. Stocks can get pulled at any time. You have a game plan, you have an opinion, you do your research, and you don't anticipate, and you just wait for everything to confirm organically. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless, and I will see you all tomorrow.